a couple um, people uh, that I'd like to thank for coming in particular on behalf of Bob um, would be uh, current city councilor Amy England is in their audience tonight uh, former mayor John Gray thank you very much for coming out uh, in your tuxedo I appreciate it. Uh, past candidates that we have here today, federally, Grant Hume from Durham, Trevor Bardens from Whitby, Oshawa, and Sean Godfrey's here from, oh, and Louise Parks is here from Oshawa as well. Um, provincial past candidates, uh, Jackie Menezes is in the, uh, there she is, there we are. And current riding presidents, Richard Lloyd from Whitby, Oshawa, uh, I, I'm here. And, uh, and lastly, for the president of uh, Durham College OIT Student Association, Amy LaRue, I want to thank you very much for coming as well. Um, now, without further ado, uh, recently arriving in the new Chevy Volt from General Motors, on the only days after this historic biennial convention in Ottawa, the leader of the Liberal Party of Canada, Mr. Bob Ray. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Um, Arlene and I are just thrilled to be here and see so many people out. We. Uh, this was a hastily organized uh, event. We wanted to take advantage of our trip. We just came down from Ottawa, but we're doing a skills tour. We're going through and visiting a number of community colleges and had a chance to see the, the new Chevy Engineering Center, uh, the GM Engineering Center, which was a lot of fun to see. And we got to drive in the new Volt, which was a lot of fun. And if any of you haven't done it, you should go out and test drive a Volt as quickly as you can. They're terrific. Uh, Canadian innovation that we're now uh, selling around the world. It's great, it's great to see. Uh, and it's wonderful to see so many friends here. This, this is a very important part of the province for us. We have uh, we've fallen behind a bit, uh, and uh, we've got work to do to rebuild uh, and to build back our presence in a whole variety of ways. But we have just come off, um, you know, what was a truly remarkable weekend. Everybody said the Liberal Party is on its last legs. We've got 3,200 delegates, 3,200 delegates coming together in the middle of winter in Ottawa, in the middle of a snowstorm to get there, and uh, it was just a fantastic four days. Starting with Thursday night, we celebrated the, the life and career of Alan J. McKechn, who was our, the founder of, of national health care, uh, just such an important part of Mr. Pearson's government, Mr. Trudeau's government. Uh, and really a wonderful uh, liberal. F celebrating his 90th birthday, so we had a great party. We then started the convention on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wonderful presentations. I urge everybody to go online, liberal.ca, have a look at the uh, speeches, have a look at the presentations. Don Tapscott's uh, presentation, which was fabulous, this guy who knows all about the digital age, explaining what's going on and talking about the changes that the Liberal Party has to make. We are in the middle of a very exciting period of change, so please uh, get involved in every possible way that you can. Um, very, very important changes came about in the convention. The most important of which is to say we have, for the, we're the first political party in the history of the country that has said to Canadians, all of you who are sympathetic with the goals and objectives of the Liberal Party of Canada, you don't have to be a member, become a supporter, you can choose the next leader of the party. It's a fantastic innovation. It's a huge change. There will be more people voting for the next leader of the Liberal Party than have ever voted for any leader in the history of Canada. That's what the Liberal Party just did on the weekend. And, uh, it was a, it was a, a big innovation and I, I think we have to do even more to kind of emphasize to Canadians and point out to the media what a dramatic change that is. That it's not about keeping things the way they are. It's about changing the way, the way things are. And whether you're looking at uh, the drug policy of the country or whether we're looking at economic policy or social policy, health care, look at the whole variety of things. It's the Liberal Party which is pointing the way to the kind of change which needs to come to Canada. And we are the party that's making it happen. So I can't thank all of you enough for being part of that change, for coming out tonight and listening to what we're doing. The key thing, though, is that we really want people to get engaged. There are two of the next stages that need to happen. The first one is organization. We found in all the work that we did this year, even though our membership has grown by 15,000 in one year, the year after our worst defeat, we still found that there are a number of ridings that don't yet have 100 members. 
And as you know, there will be a new riding in the, in the Durham region. We're going to be adding ridings across the country, and this is one of the higher growth areas where there will certainly be a new riding. So over the next time, we're really going to have to identify liberal supporters, liberal activists, people who want to get involved in the Liberal Party, and be encouraging people to start forming riding associations, getting involved in, in, in the community, dealing with local issues, dealing, getting up front on the environmental issues, the health care issues, all those things that really matter to us as, as liberals. And there's a lot for us to do. There's a whole, there's a ton, there's a ton to do. There's a lot to do. But the second thing we have to do is recognize that we have got to work together as a party, together with all the people who are keen liberal supporters, and really work on policy, really work on ideas, and really work on the platform. The next platform is not going to come down from the top. The next platform is going to come up from the members of this party, from the supporters of this party, from people who are advising us on policy, and we're going to be putting forward the best possible policies we can. And it's going to take, it's going to take all of your work and effort to help us build that platform and to help us build that resonance and that credibility with people. So I'm glad there's so many young people here from UOIT, a wonderful institution from Durham College, from the people in the region here. It's great to see people out. It's great to have your engagement and involvement. So, at the end of the last convention, I said, first of all, Landon's going to come down. Landon, wave your hand. Wave. There, there he is right here. Up at the front. He's going to be coming down and giving you the forms that you're going to need here to become the official club at the, for the youth and for the university club. We've got to get you guys certified and up and running and all organized. But the second thing is that when it comes to memberships and supporters, you can do it all online. Everything can happen online. You can join the local riding online, you can join the national party online, you can become a supporter online, you can become engaged in the policy online. Everything is possible to do. There's no limits or barriers or borders between us and you in terms of making this connection. Liberal.ca, just remember that, liberal.ca. Over and over again, liberal.ca. Very easy, very easy. It can be done. And I'm asking all of you to do it, to really get involved and engaged in the transformation and modernization of the party. As I said in a couple of times in the speeches that I gave over the weekend, and if my voice is a little, a little hoarse, it's because I did quite a lot of speaking <laughs> over the weekend. What we, what we know as liberals is that there's tremendous resonance to, the, to support for the liberal idea across the country, for the things that we fought for in the past, the values that we have. We just have to really engage Canadians with what these things mean, why they're important, and why we need to work together in, 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 uh, in bringing forward new policies. I don't think Stephen Harper speaks for all Canadians. I don't think he speaks for a majority of Canadians. And I don't think an ideological party on the left can do that either. I know there are many former New Democrats who are here, and I suspect, like me, you just were very frustrated with somebody telling you what to think, this is what the official position is, this is what the line is, and that's the way everybody has to line up. After a while, people just get tired of that. They want to be able to think for themselves and come to their own conclusions. So, we've got a good thing going here, Liberals. We've got a lot of support, a lot of resonance out there in the country. The key thing for all of us to remember is that, to borrow a phrase from the great book, please, go forth from this place, and as I said last week, <laughs> multiply. <laughs> In any way you want to do it, just go out there and multiply. Somebody says, what's the difference between the Liberals and the Conservatives? I'll tell you. Stephen Harper divides. <laughs> Liberals multiply. And that's what we need to do. Get out there and do it. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. It's great to see you.